Hello boys and girls, today we are going to do printmaking. Now if you were here last year, we did this last year, so we're going to do the same technique as last year, but we're going to learn about different things. So we're going to learn and focus about the elements of art, which are line, shape, form, which is 3D, color, which we have all over here, space, which are when things are overlapping, and texture, so the way things feel. So, we're going to have to incorporate these or include them in our project when we make them. Okay, so here's our print. And what you're going to start off first by doing is you're going to take your styrofoam piece, your tray, and you're going to trim off the edges so that you can print because if we leave these edges on here, it's not going to get very tight against the paper and our print won't work. So just trim off these edges. Now be careful not to cut it too small because you only get one piece of styrofoam. So if it breaks or if you cut it, you're just going to have to work with it because I don't have enough for you to get more than one piece. So I'm just going to go back and trim the edges a little better where I don't have it perfectly straight. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. If you want to, you can make it like a little crooked or whatever. But here is my piece of styrofoam now ready. Now I'm going to take these scraps clean them up and throw them in the garbage so that they are not in our way. Okay? So if you look at this styrofoam piece, you'll see that there's writing on the back side. That's what you're going to use is the back side. Write your name. You can write it in pencil or pen on the back of there. Don't press in too hard because then it's a little hard to write. Okay? So now what you're going to do, if you look at my example, is you're going to break this up into one, two, three, four, five different sections however you want to. So I'm going to take my pencil. I'm not going to press really hard. A dull pencil works better than a sharp pencil. And I'm going to draw five different sections. So I'm doing different types of line on here. So I have a wavy line. I have a like curvy line. I'm going to do a straight line. And now I have one, two, three, four. I need one more section. So let's do down here a zigzag line. Okay? Now I'm going to use shapes and forms to fill in the rest. So I'm going to do maybe some circles in here. Now you probably can't see the best as I'm drawing, but that's okay because you don't want to push these groups, grooves very deep. Maybe I'm going to add some lines on here like I have on my other one. However you want, you need to fill in these five sections. Try to do different designs. You don't want to have the same one for each one. Okay? I think I'm going to draw some more wavy lines in here. Now, as I'm drawing in here, I am creating some texture, right? You can see how we can feel this. Now, I'm going to break this one up into smaller pieces. Okay, so I have this drawn. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a black pen and trace, pressing harder, over those lines that I just drew in pencil. If you don't follow your line exactly, that's okay. And what this is doing is it's making those grooves deeper for you to print make. You want nice deep grooves. If you have shallow grooves and not deep ones, it's not going to work as well. So I'm going to outline everything that I just drew in pencil now with my black pen. Okay, now it's all outlined in my black pen. I'm going to take a second pen, a blue pen now, and go over this again. And this is just, once again, making sure that your grooves are nice and deep on the paper. So that you should be ready for printmaking. And the reason I have you do it in two different colors is so you can see if you forget where you outlined and where you didn't. Okay, now I've outlined it twice. I'm going to feel over these grooves, and if they feel nice and deep, then I am ready to move on. And if you notice in some areas I messed up, that's okay. You can just go over it again with your pen to make those grooves deeper. So now the next step is to color it in using markers. You need to make sure that they're washable or water-based markers. Otherwise, this won't work. 
You must color in your whole entire styrofoam piece. That means there should be no plastic, or not plastic, there should be no white showing. It needs to be all colored in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and color it in, and I'm going to make sure that I don't use the same color for the whole thing. It would be a little more creative than that, okay? Now you want to start coloring at the top and work your way down to the bottom so you are not getting marker all over your hand because if you're rubbing it off, it's not going to work on the print. If you mess up and don't start at the top, flip it around like I do. There you go. Okay, now I am done coloring this in. I don't want to touch this because I want that color to stay on there for it to go on my paper when I print it. Okay, let's see the next step in printmaking with water-based markers. So I have my water bottle here. I will be spraying your paper for you. You need to have a white piece of paper. Before I spray on it, I need to do something, and that would be write my name. I'm going to write my name small and towards the top, so if I don't like my print, I can flip it over and use both sides. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my paper. I'm going to take my print very carefully, flip it over, onto this paper. Okay, right, now I'm going to hold it down. Let's count together to 60. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be rubbing my hands to press the marker onto the paper. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Okay, notice when I was rubbing, one hand always stayed still and the other one was moving. That's so my print doesn't start moving all over and then it gets blurry. So if yours gets blurry, that's probably why. Okay, ready to unveil this? Oh, very cool. So now my print has transferred from the styrofoam onto my piece of paper. And if you notice, the color showed up very nicely. Some areas it didn't show up well, so that might mean one of two things. I wasn't press pressing down well, which I was, you saw. So then my other thing is I didn't have enough marker there, so it didn't show up very nicely. Hope you guys have fun experimenting with this.